I didn't answer the question, but I asked it. Um, um, as he said, I'm Andy Martin. I write for the New York Times. Um, this is a panel on climate change and the sort of confluence of water and energy and pollution and food production. And uh, before I start, I just I, I do write about the food business, uh, the business of food, and uh, it's interesting that every time I write on these issues of sustainability or carbon reduction, uh, the reaction is is huge uh, compared to writing about uh, Coke's or, or quarterly earnings or some other business story. Um, so there's clearly uh, a lot of interest out there. Um, I will say, though, that when I write about these and talk about these topics with people, um, oftentimes I find that there's two things missing from this discussion, and one is um, business reality and political reality. Um, and, uh, you know, just ask anybody that's ever negotiated agriculture in the WTO or in Congress. Um, so I guess um, as we proceed with this discussion, um, particularly when we talk about solutions, I'd like you to think about, one, whether somebody can make money doing this, and two, does it have a prayer in Washington or at the WTO? Um, we have a uh, very distinguished panel here to talk about this today. They're so distinguished that I'm going to edit their uh, titles a little bit in the interest of time. Um, <laughs> you can read them. Uh, John Padgham is uh, Program Director for Environment, Environmental Risk, Vulnerability, and Adaption Program at the International Start Secretariat in Washington, D.C. Mark Shannon is an engineering professor and uh, director of the Center of Advanced Materials for Purification of Water with Systems at the University of Illinois. Cutler Cleveland is a geography professor and director of the Center for Energy and Environmental S Environment Studies at Boston University. And William Clark is a uh, professor of international science, public policy, and human development at Harvard. And we're going to start with John. Thank you. 